Welcome back. We're now exploring the second level of the village island jungle garden thingy. And here we can see more of the brown leaves indicating that these trees are dying. I got some nice view out to see. You can also see in the corner here what appears to be a rotating dome. There's actually a dome like this on every island. And we could actually see the one uh, on Dome Island, the, the big Dome Island. But I unfortunately missed uh, it and didn't point it out. We couldn't get to it yet anyway. We'll see it later. Now let's take a look at uh, this dome. Oh, well, it's a dome and it's rotating. There's a whole bunch of symbols on the side, and one of these symbols appears to have a different color. It's unfortunately almost impossible to see what symbol it is, because the dome is rotating so quickly. If we go over here, there's a viewer, which shows us the symbols more clearly, but it's still hard to see what the correct symbol is. But if we push this a couple of times, There's the symbol. Did you get it? You should uh, write down those symbols. They're very important. So besides showing us the symbol, this also had the effect of opening the dome. I can get inside it. It looks like there's a book under here and some sort of combination lock. But, much like the code for the telescope, this is also randomly generated, so I have no idea what it is. Oh, that wasn't it. I didn't happen to guess it. So it seems that Gen is actually making books. Well, that would have been pretty obvious from the cut down trees and everything. but. If he's taking this much trouble to protect it, it seems that he has working linking books, something that uh, Atrus didn't think was possible. There's this uh, volcanic chasm again. So, let's climb up the ladder of stairs actually, and ooh, we've been spotted. Villagers are very afraid of attacks because of a group of rebels uh, that has been operating here. The guy who initially uh, rescued us from the cage when we came to Riven was one of these rebels. Now the villagers know we're coming. There's the uh, lookout post. And it seems like Gen built something here. What could it be? There is a chair inside it. It seems that Gen is uh, allergic to chairs that don't have levers and knobs uh, sitting around it. We can raise this chair and get a nice view of a village. It looks like a nice little village with uh, nice little round huts. Must be tiny though. And we can look down at a lake. And uh, if you look closely, there's something really weird going on with this lake. See, there's some holes in the water. The water normally doesn't uh, behave that way. At least not the water that I uh, know. But water on Riven apparently does. We can see also that there's some kind of tracks below the water. Mm. At this point we don't know yet what they're used for. And this thing. 
which uh, this chair appears to be looking down onto directly. It's not that uh, obvious from here, but this is actually a, a sort of gallows. The uh, statues on the top are statues of works. What happens here is that to punish transgressors of the law, Gen will hang them from a bar at the top of these gallows and lower them down and then a wark will come and eat them. I don't know exactly how warks are supposed to come into this uh, little lake. I suppose that the lake is connected to the sea via the underground or something. And from here Gen can control their fate if he closes the, the uh, gate at the bottom the villagers are saved. Sort of like the uh, Roman emperors deciding the fate of a gladiator. Well, we're gonna leave that closed. So, let's lower this chair back down. And we'll take the elevator back. I'll remind you again, you can actually go further down with this elevator and get to another Maglev car and go to another island, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go back out of the mouth of the warp. back this way. Ooh, a little girl. Watch out, little girl. Where's she going? Oh, she's gone. Little girl's a fast runner. I think sometime in the future she may have a career as an athlete in front of her. Well, we've seen there's a village on this island. Let's see if we can get to it. It is actually possible to have the lookout notice you when you come through this way, but since the lookout already saw us coming uh, to the um, to the chair, he doesn't uh, warn us warn about us again. Well, really hard to notice. There's actually a m mural here, which um, I mean it's barely visible in the game. I, I doubt you can actually see this in the video. But what it shows is Gen, with a crude version of Gen symbol above it, feeding two villagers to two hungry wargs. Again, an, uh, an indication of just how cruel uh, Gen is. Well, here we can look out to see. How nice. And we come to the village. Oh, and in the top left corner there you can just see some villagers running away. I mean the lookout only warned you five minutes ago, so why uh, wait this long to run away? There's still a little girl there playing on the docks who doesn't realize the danger. Probably the girl we saw before. Her mother has to come and get her. Of course we're not actually dangerous, but they don't know that. And it looks like we're out of time, so I'll see you next time.